All right, out there, YouTubers. Matthew coming at you again. Uh, I will have an update tomorrow on the 58. Should be the final update. I don't want to show it yet. It's all done. Except for some decals. It's over here in the paint booth. There it is. That's how you get. So, this is going to be for a new build. I will be asking your guys' advice. What you think. I got the Nova from Clay Chevy. He was gracious enough to send to me. Then I got the Camaro from Mike Wagner. He sent that to me. So you guys, I'm going to ask you which one, <clears throat> excuse me, you think I should do. The only twist to this is, and you can tell me if you think it's a good idea or not too, is I have this kit. Yeah, you see it? Which was a garage sale special. I think it was like a dollar or something like that. Um... The motor had been started, but a lot of the stuff, you know, is still in plastic. But I'm thinking of taking the motor out of that and adding to one of these. So I need you to tell me if that's a good idea and or which one you would do it to. Now here's the little motor diorama that I have you've seen before. That's a 124 scale motor. I think it was out of the 60 Dodge Charger, I believe. This is the motor that came out of the Grave Digger. Yeah, that's uh, quite a bit of difference there. I mean, it's been glued together some, the heads and stuff. Whoever had it didn't clean the tabs off where they cut it, didn't clean the glue up. Not 100% sure I can get it to look good. <clears throat> Still got flash all over it. But I'm thinking of, because <clears throat> it does have a big blower, sticks up on the scoop and all. Marrying this into one of these cars. Either the Nova or the Camaro. So you tell me what you think. Let me know which one you think it would look good in um some more parts from that thing that's still in plastic I'm digging for the let's see here turned over <clears throat> yeah here would be the belt assembly uh the blower i mean it's a good size again the blower compared to that motor huge so you let me know what you think you know i can use like the radiator in it steering wheel different things like that maybe some of the roll cage i don't know we'll see it's got you know it comes with all that stuff the seat it's got a nice really nice seat all detailed super thick and heavy yeah let me know what you think and i will be back with you tomorrow and I will show you the 58 Chevy Impala. I got finished. And, uh, yeah, that's about that. I'm trying to think of something I can do with, you know, I have four of these big old tires. I'm trying to think of something I can do with those. I really wanted to take this and put it on some kind of a car chassis or something but it's already had the fenders all cut out you know if these big tires that go in there and I don't know what I'll do with that that's yet to be seen so I did see a lot of good builds on the uh, Chevy Cheeseburger 48 hour build everybody done a great job I'm running a little behind on my videos I will get caught up and uh to what if i can comment on those and to styrene junkie dude that you know with the dog that's just inhumane unhuman how anyone could do that to somebody 
as Dr. Cranky said, you know, that's the bait and switch, you know, get you in there, take your money, your deposits, and then turn around and say, no, you can't have the dog, and not get the money back either, probably, I'm sure you would say. Just not right. Not right at all. So hang in there. One of these days, maybe you get settled somewhere where you can get you another pup and grow him up and yeah, he'll be your little buddy again. So everybody hang in there and uh, we will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one.